Let us try some examples to determine the minimum spacing of reinforcement bar. This is a reinforced concrete beam. The dimension is 150 x 450. You have 3 T16 at the bottom, 2 T12 at the top, and the specified U strength is 460. Your shelling is R8200, and the maximum aggregate size is 20, and the concrete cover is 30. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. In order for you to calculate the minimum spacing, the three aspects are here. The biggest bar size, 20 mm, and the size of aggregate plus, plus 5. In this case, the largest bar size is 16. So this should be 16 and 20 is given and 25 is obtained from the aggregate size of 20 plus 5 so the bigger value will be chosen that means your minimum spacing have to be greater than 25 mm as for the actual spacing you will have to refer to the dimensions the smaller spacing is chosen Therefore, it will be 3 reinforcement bar alone. The calculation will be the width of the beam minus 2 cover minus shelling size times 2 minus 3 reinforcement and divided by 2 spacing. The actual spacing is 13 which is less than the minimum required. Therefore, the minimum spacing does not pass. You are going to expect segregations and poor compaction of concrete then. This is another example on the minimum spacing. Now we deal with an RC slab. The main and secondary reinforcement bar is R10350. That means the reinforcement bar are spaced by 350. The aggregate size is 200 mm. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. This is the solution for RC slab. For you to calculate the minimum spacing, this equation is applied. It is governed by the size of the reinforcement bar, 20 mm, and also aggregate size 20 plus 5. The bigger value was chosen. As for the actual spacing, R10 are spaced up by 350 center to center. For the actual spacing, you will use 350 minus half of the reinforcement bar and minus another half of reinforcement bar. Therefore, your actual spacing will be 340. In this case, your actual spacing is actually more than your minimum spacing. Therefore, the minimum spacing is acceptable. Under normal circumstances, Minimum spacing will not be an issue for the slab. However, maximum spacing will need to be checked carefully because there is a possibility that the reinforcement bar are spaced too far away for reinforced concrete slab. As for the beam, the maximum spacing will not be an issue because of the low width of the beam. But it will be an issue for the minimum spacing of the beam. Therefore, to be safe, you can always check both the maximum and minimum spacing for the reinforcement beam and reinforcement slab. 